Hey guys, how are you year eight? I'm here to help uh, show a demonstration of your John Walsley um, background wash. So what I'm gonna show you today is a couple of examples, one with watercolor or um, anything that you've got at home paint wise and art supplies wise. But if you don't have any of those, then I've got an alternative for you. All right, let's get started. So what I've got here is my piece of paper and I have some watercolours over to the side here that I'm just using. Um, but you can use any watercolours, you only need to have one or two watercolours, that's fine. Okay, so John Wolseley really, um, he just loved natural things and he, he loved um, the environment really. So he, a lot of his works had like a whole background wash done before he started layering um, botanicals and, and animals on top. So I'm just going to show you a simple wash using just my water, my watercolours and um, a sponge if you have one. If you haven't got a one like that, you might have one just laying around the house really. Just use anything that you've got. So I'm just going to pop in, um, just pop some water on first onto my paper and I'm just going to drop some watercolours into this. So I might think about um, what sort of colours I want for my background, you know. I, I know some of his paintings or most of his paintings have uh, mostly sort of browns, um, but they might have hints of blues, which might imply a bit of water. They might also have hints of greens, which might imply bush or forest land. So I'll just show you here. Just drop some colours in here. Here comes um, just a little bit of brown on here. I've got a brush here, but I'm going to use a sponge in a minute. I'll use a couple of different colours here. Just working my way across my paper. Just dropping a few different colours. Something that might um, make my teacher who's looking at my work or anyone who's looking at my work think, well, this could be rocks or it could be earth, just soil or dirt. Um, I might like to try and put in some texture, so I might use my sponge. I might just see what this looks like if I, I might use the other side, see what that looks like here. Giving a little bit there, maybe not a lot. But now I might try and put um, a bit of blue over here to this side, maybe. I'm not necessarily drawing anything in particular. I'm not making it water. I'm not making it blue sky. But I'm just popping it into the watercolour. And just letting it run in and letting the colours mix and do their thing. Might put a little bit over here. And I'm just popping water on to help that mix. You might want to use a brush. You know, you might just want to pop it on with the sponge. So you can see me dipping that into my water there. You might just want to use that. So if you don't have brushes at home, that's fine. And then I'm going to put that to one side and let that dry so then I can come back later and do the rest of my piece. Okay, so if I don't have paints at home, what sort of thing can I use? I'll put this to one side. I can use something that everybody's kitchen has, um, are tea bags. I can make a wash. What colour is tea, guys? 
Okay, it looks a bit like sepia or like muddy water, doesn't it? So I'm actually going to pop that in here and I've got some boiled water here from the kettle. We'll see how we go with making that. And you can see in there that is going like a brown watercolour, isn't it? Something else that we all have at home is coffee, generally. Mum or Dad might like a cup of coffee. And that's something else. I'll show you how that works. So I've got put some coffee in here that we can use. And we can also use the coffee granules in our artwork. So let's see how our tea is going. Be careful not to burn yourself, but you can let it go cold. It doesn't have to be hot. Make it when it's hot. You can prepare it earlier and make it when it's hot. I think this assessment task, from memory, Miss Hope told me, um, page 32 in the iBook, I think. So if you go to that page and read that, you'll get all your information. All right, let's see what happens here when we pop this on our paper. Oh, wow. That looks so cool. How cool is that, you guys? So I just put that straight on there. It's not bad, and I'll leave a bit of space in the middle. I won't just do the whole lot. Uh, move over to different areas. Let's see how the coffee looks. Wrong one. Try this one. Splash that out there. Looks just like different browns, like the watercolour. Wow, how cool. I'm going to see what it looks like when I put on coffee granules. Straight from the jar. Let's see what happens here. Normally when you put coffee in water, it will dissolve. Get your hands in there and move it around. It's pretty cool. Wow, look at this. Oh, it's looking like riverbeds, like a dry river creek. Oh, my goodness. Look how it's reacting, you guys. Oh, how awesome is that? Love it. How fun. Oh, I like it just like that. Can you see that? Oh, my goodness. So good. That looks like land. I love that. Also, I've got here some dirt. Just outside, everyone's got some dirt from their yard. So I've got some twigs that I might use here to make marks. Maybe I can um, drag some of that coffee bean across, that coffee granule. Here I've just got a bit of a, oops, something from the garden, a bit of bark. Watch this. Just mark making. Um, I'm going to put a bit of dirt on here even. Rub that in there. Be careful not to rub too hard, don't want to rub a hole in my paper. Put a bit more up here. This was just out of the garden at school, guys. Just the grass. Then when that dries, I can brush that off. That'll dry later, and I can just brush that off. Also, um, I've got a bit of charcoal here. So if you happen to have some charcoal at home, oops, there it is. It's fantastic to draw across especially running it through the water and the granules of the dirt and the coffee and then I can smudge them so now I'm going to add them a bit of water to those and just move it around Because it's a wash, I'll try and um, just rub those lines out a bit there. Just pop a bit of water on there. 
and um, even over here and just make that a bit more black with charcoal. You might have watercolour pencils, you might have lead. You can just put some lead on there and smudge it a bit. That actually looks pretty cool. What do you think? There you go. My unconventional John Walsley background using products from home, coffee, tea, dirt, and I quite like it actually, <laughs> and compared to using some watercolour. So it doesn't matter if you don't have paints, that's fine. If you've got acrylic paints, fantastic, you can water them down so they're almost like um, water. You can water down your acrylic paints so they look like this and then you can use them for a wash just like watercolour. Alright guys, go to it. Have fun.